Well, hello. Oh my goodness. Welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Free Lead Chief Friday. I feel like it's been forever since we did this. I know just because last week I wasn't able to do it because it was Lily's birthday. And I want to say thank you. I know you guys are always so understanding and I appreciate that. We had a, a, a fabulous birthday day. We actually went to Holland, Michigan, which I've not really spent much time over in Holland. Hey Susie, how are you doing? Um, so we just had a great day. We went to the beach. It wasn't super warm, but we got to kind of enjoy being right on Lake Michigan. And Holland, like the downtown is super duper cute. I had no idea. Hey Nikki, how are you? So we just had a really nice day, kind of checking things out over, that's on the west side of the state, right on Lake Michigan. So it was a beautiful, beautiful day. So thank you. And she had a great birthday too, of course, right? I mean, what 15 year old girl, you know, as long as she gets um, everything on her list that she, that was like the hardest part. So at this point, you know, there, I can't shop for her anymore. I loved when she was little, you know, and I could shop for her. Um, hey Tammy, how are you guys? Um, but you know, you can't do that anymore. I'm like the old mom who doesn't know anything. And so she has to pick out whatever she wants. But then she also, hey Wendy, she also wants to be surprised, which is like nearly impossible. I mean, how do you, you know, get her everything that she wants and then um, surprise her? So I tried, I found this shirt that she saw while we were shopping and I was like, oh, you don't need that. And then secretly I like, went back in the store because I had to get some stuff for Kay. So she kind of thought I was just getting his stuff. And it was all great until we got home. Um, I dropped him off at their dad's house and Cade pulls the bag of stuff out to show his dad his clothes. And like the one thing that I thought was gonna be the surprise for Lily is in the bag and that comes out at the same time too. And Cade's totally clueless. He's shown his dad the stuff. I'm like, okay, so the, the surprise shirt is sitting right there on the table and Lily's seeing it. So <laughs> I was like, I tried to surprise her, but she gets it now. I'm like, Do, would you rather have what you want or, um, you know, me surprise you. So anyway, it's all, it's all good. So hey, Diana, hey, Roseanne. So sorry, I'm always just kind of chatting. You guys know that about me. I love to just kind of chat and share a little bit as people are hopping on. Um, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, one thing I will tell you, and this sounds so crazy, but next Friday, so it's Friday the 13th, which I know is all like, ooh, it's getting close to like Halloween, Friday the 13th, that's kind of crazy. Um, but I am gonna be at a creative convention like all day Friday and all day Saturday. So I'm not gonna be able to do um, a Facebook Live next Friday either. Hey Sandy, how are you doing? I'm so glad you can join us. Um, so, oh, and the other thing, it's actually my birthday next Friday. I think, I don't know why I think that's so cool. So Lily's birthday is on August 30th and mine is on September 13th so she was born two weeks after my birthday so it's always really easy to remember like if hers is on a Friday mine's gonna be on a Friday too so anyway um but yes big news okay here hold on and my somehow with this phone the weather updates are always popping up on my phone so I have to like swipe that away I'm sure there's a way to turn it off I just haven't looked at how to do it yet but okay big exciting news right the holiday catalog is live everyone can order from the holiday catalog now so starting on Wednesday um, you can order out of the holiday catalog now too if you're not a demonstrator so if you were a demonstrator you could have ordered starting back in August but now everybody can order out of this awesome awesome catalog so hopefully you guys have had a chance to kind of peek through hey Lisa oh yeah I'm glad you can watch the live thank you for joining us um, yeah so like I said hopefully if you do not already have a copy of the catalog I know a lot of people like to look at it online I'm still like the girl who loves and now I can show you the inside pages too that was like the big no no that we couldn't do right but oh my gosh so many cute beautiful fabulous wonderful things in there um but if you don't have a holiday catalog let me know you can comment here you can send me an email message whatever let me know and i will um get a holiday catalog sent out to you because i don't know if you're like me i love to look at it um like just you know sit like with a, I don't drink coffee, maybe a cup of tea or, um, you know, any hot beverage now that it's already getting to be fall time, right? Um, and kind of flip through the catalog. So let me know if you need a coffee. Um, let's see, Diana. Oh, you're welcome. Yay, you got your little package of goodies. I know um, I am always trying to be better about, so you know how when I do, um, 
uh, the free embellishment with an order. If you put an order in, use the host code. If you spend over $50, you get a free embellishment. I feel like I'm always like kind of behind on getting those embellishments. And then the crazy thing was I started picking things that were going on back order. And then that got to be even more of a nightmare. So thank you. I know I, I always feel like oh, I don't get things out as quickly as I want to. And it's not because I'm like slacking and I don't want to. It's usually because I'm waiting for a product um, to be able to ship to you. But so you're welcome, Diana. Here I am like blabbering on about, oh, I don't know. I guess it's been bothering me um, because I want to get things out to people as quickly as possible right after I do the drawing. So I am doing my best and I hope you guys know that. And I just appreciate, you know, all of your support and your orders. So thank you guys. Um, okay, so yeah, back to, so Holiday Catalog went live on September 4th, so Wednesday. And then also Stampin' Up! announced a designer series paper sale. And I was going to look and I forgot to do that. So I have posted here on our Facebook group and I have emailed about the sale. It is annual catalog designer series paper. Um, so I, I was kind of hoping maybe it would be Holiday Catalog, but it's not. And that's okay because there's still a ton of annual catalog designer series paper and i don't think it's every single one of these but it's quite a few of our designer series papers so the buy three i'm just kind of flipping in the catalog so you guys can see right buy three and get one free and i know it includes there was one pretty sure there was one specialty i think the pressed petals specialty because i don't know if all of the specialty ones are in there those are a little bit more expensive um, but again buy three packs of designer series paper and get one free and that is good right online through stampinup.com um, or let me know and i can get something ordered for you the one thing that i don't think is included i'm about positive are the six by six paper packs so the bright subtles regals neutrals and then the two in colors those are not included but most all of the other designer series paper is included and you'll be able to tell if you go to put an order in um, and you put the fourth one in and it charges you you picked something that wasn't included in the sale um, but it's right on the banner too there's a you know when you go to stampinup.com so let me know if you guys have any questions but like i said i posted to our facebook group there's a link there that you can see all the paper and on my blog to a gathering inspiration.com i put pictures of all of the paper that's included in the sale so you could get new holiday catalog stuff you could get um, um, the designer series paper and get one free buy three get one free so lots of lots of good stuff going on the other thing I want to make sure to remind everybody and let me grab my little flyer here too I was able because I know I think I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago the holiday catalog designer series paper share um, Diana you're saying not them and then not the foil or the special yeah the is a pretty peacock I think um, yeah, the um, designer series paper and the foil, neither one of those are included, which of course those are fabulous, but you can still get those. Hey Kate, how are you? Thank you, Diana, I'm glad you helped keep me on track. I really appreciate that. Cause like I said, I, I actually went to my computer to like look that up and then, you know, I got distracted and I forgot to do it before I went live. So anyway, but all the info is here on our group and on my blog, so, and on stampinup.com. Okay, so holiday catalog designer series paper share. If you are interested in getting basically, it's like a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the holiday catalog. So we have the twall tidings paper, the wrapped in plaid paper, let it snow paper, night before Christmas, brightly gleaming, I'm already at five packs, right? Mercury glass acetate, feels like frost, come together in monster bash. So it's nine different packs of paper. You get a quarter of a pack of the paper for just $35. So it's an awesome deal. It's an awesome way to just basically get a sample. You get a front and back of every single piece of paper in the pack and then you can like really touch it, feel it, play with it. Cause a lot of times what you see in the catalog, they do a good job, but it's still even better when you can see it live and then you can decide, ooh, I love that paper or I thought I was gonna like that and I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, so yeah, great way to kind of see the paper. Plus you actually get a, um, Oh, I don't have it over here, um, but it's the really cute, it's the cherry cobbler, it's like a diagonal stripe ribbon. You're gonna get a sample. I wonder if I can find that, um, that ribbon. Let me see, I should have had it flagged, but at least the annual or the holiday catalog isn't nearly as big as the annual catalog, but you're gonna get that for free if you order the designer series paper share. Here it is. 
So if you guys can see this really cute, uh, it's like red and white stripe love. I love all of our ribbon. Um, and hey, Debbie, thank you for the share. Thank you for watching. So yeah, designer series paper share, $35. If you need it shipped to you, I'm gonna put it in a priority mail envelope, so it's $8 shipping for that. And then you're gonna get a free sample of the Cherry Cobbler Diagonal Stripe Ribbon. Um, yeah, so let me know. I have emailed and posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. If you need the links, let me know. I can send them to you, okay? Um, lots, there's just so much going on right now. The other thing I want to make sure to let everybody know about, I just always have to have all my little flyers, um, <clears> that I love to slip these in people's orders too, and it helps keep me organized also. So my one day crafting retreat today, this is what, September 6th, is the last day to RSVP and prepay and get a, um, a free gift in your goodie bag. So you always get an awesome goodie bag with um, make and takes and table treats and lots of other, um, and I feed you all day long at the one day retreat. But in addition, you're gonna get an extra free gift in your goodie bag if you sign up and prepay by today. So I've posted on my blog, I've, um, I emailed about it. If you need the link, again, let me know, because um, today's that last day. You actually have until September 20th is the final, like drop dead. I have to have my final numbers so I can make sure I'm prepped and ready to go for October 5th. So if you have any questions, let me know. And what's Nikki saying? Oh, reminder, oh, thank you, yes. Oh, that would be awesome. You're gonna sign up for the Designer Series Paper Share. It's funny, because your comment is long and there's actually a little thing that says, see more in blue but what if I push on it then I'm like pushing right where you guys let's see oh what's um, let's see send the friends and family today will be doing the sampler sheet um, oh oh okay I have thought about that I'm trying to decide because it is a lot of work to do those sampler sheets but I love them too so yeah it's funny because I was looking at I'm like oh my gosh that's coming around again already um, but there's a chance that I might be, so I'll keep you posted on those sampler sheets. You liked those, right, Nikki? I know I have used them a ton, especially for um, designing cards and scrapbook pages and stuff. It's been so quick and easy um, to you know have those as a good reference. So, okay. Oh, the other thing, the one day retreat. If you can't make it to the live one day retreat that is on October 5th, I'm doing the retreat in a box, the fall 2019 retreat in a box. Um, so that I can ship directly to you. You get the make and takes, you get the table treats, you get the goodie bag. Um, I give you other fun little surprises in your, and I ship it in a priority mail box so I can get everything in there for you guys. We are, uh, let me see if I can even find, because I am in love with, well, honestly, everything I pick up I'm in love with, but we are going to be using Okay, let's see. Anne, how are you? Yay, I'm, I'm so glad you can join us. Um, the one day retreat and the retreat in a box, I'm gonna be featuring product from, this is called the Brightly Gleaming Suite. So you'll get products from this suite in your goodie bag. We'll be doing make and takes with this stuff. Um, cute treats I'll be making for everybody too. So yeah, let me know. I've, I'm like, like I said, this is just beautiful. Speaking of that, let me show you guys, actually. I did, this was a swap card that I made recently, and here, this will give you a good idea. Can you guys see, like, look at that paper. That's actually um, copper foil paper that I embossed with that new hammered metal embossing folder. But then look at all the bronze detail on that paper, too. So this is a good example of a project we're not actually going to make this one unless everybody says they really want to um, but this was my swap card that i made and i did a youtube video on it also so it's over on the gathering inspiration stamp studio youtube channel so you can check that out but it's just beautiful simple you know me i'm a simple stamper simple card maker but the designer series paper is certainly the star of the show on that card right Okay, um, what else, what else? Okay, I have to do a quick check because I know I'm like talking so much and I wanna make sure that I've got it all covered. Let's see, um, weekend retreat. That's the other thing to let you guys know about. It's like all of a sudden all these things are coming up. You know, I've been kind of emailing and posting and sharing about them thinking, oh, I've got forever. And now all of a sudden, like today's the final day to RSVP and get that extra free gift for the one day retreat and then the weekend retreat 
at the end of the month, if you RSVP and prepay by September 30th, I give you an extra free gift in your goodie bag for the weekend retreat. Now that retreat is held down in Lansing, Michigan. So for me, it's about 45, 50 minutes um, south of here. So it's a little bit of a drive, but that's kind of fun to just like get away. Um, plus it's actually really close to <laughs> other fun shopping, which we are certainly lacking in little old Alma. Um, so it's kind of fun to get down to Lansing and um, be spend the night in the hotel do lots of crafting you can run out and shop a little bit if you need to so come see me even if you're from far away come hang out and play with us at the weekend retreat we have so much fun at this thing i know i always say that but i never thought i would like these things like that's just sounded like way too much crafting time but it's not it goes so quickly and it's so much fun we have fun music playing and like little movies in the background not like super loud but just kind of background noise if you need a little um i don't know a little distraction or something so links on my blog for the weekend retreat and i've been emailing about that as well so um okay i think those are all of the announcements like whew, i knew i was like man i'm gonna be going on and on and on about this Oh, you, are you kidding, Jamie? That would be awesome. I would love for you to come up. I wonder how far is it? Because I think you're in Ohio, right? You have to let me know how far it is for you to come up. But oh my gosh, that would be so cool. I would love it if you could do that. So let me know if you have any questions too on that. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to do a quick shout out. We had a we welcomed a couple of new Inkspired Stampers right at the end of August. We had that um, the extra extra recruiting promotion. Okay, that's not too bad, Jamie. That'd be all right. Yeah, you could do that, right? Maybe I don't know if you have a friend or a couple of friends that would want to come to. That makes it super fun too if you have kind of a group of gals that you can all share a room with. Um, so yeah, let me know. I would love to get you signed up for that. Um, Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. New Inkspired Stampers. We had Rondell Connor Gulick and Pamela Huntley were able to take advantage of that extra, extra recruiting promotion. They got the starter kit, they got the awesome deal with lots of fun product, and then they also got a $10 off coupon that they can use now in September to buy more fun stuff with. So welcome, ladies, thank you for joining us. Um, okay, now let's do our drawing. So this is what I had announced on the last Facebook Live. We have those cute little Dino Roar enamel shapes. I had so much fun playing with these um, on that Dino Roar class to go that I did. They're just so cute. Plus, actually, they're pretty versatile. Actually, I'll do it upside down. These almost look like something that you could use for holiday time, those little um, kind of a red um, triangle or rectangle, right? What are those? Those are triangles, sorry. I'm like, what are what are your shapes? And then the leaves are great too, because they've got the, that's old olive, and I think this is pretty peacock. Um, so you could use those for even like kind of fall, winter. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to go with um, that suite of products. Hey, Rosemary, whole shoe. I know how to, and I think I know how to spell your name too. H-O-L-Z-S-C-H-U-H. -H. I know I just looked at it, but I wrote it a couple of times. Ooh, on entries on the drawing that we're gonna do in a little bit. So I've been practicing, trying to um, learn how to spell your new married last name. Okay, so in here we have lots and lots of entries. You've got one entry for commenting on Facebook Live anytime between now and when I prep for Facebook Live next Thursday or actually now it's gonna be a week from Thursday um, because we're off next week again too, which is crazy. Hey, Amy Jo. Okay, so yeah, one entry for commenting. Just comment anytime and your name will be in here. You get three entries if you share the video or tag a friend. Just make sure that you put a little comment with your tag or your share. Um, if you're new to me and you sign up for my email list, you get three entries into the drawing. And then lastly, my random draw day, I picked Saturday. So for the last two Saturdays, Anybody that posted a, um, a picture of a project that they've made or commented on a post that I made, you got three more entries in here. So this is, there were a ton of entries to go through. Oh my gosh, the sun is peeking out. It's been like the dreariest, ugliest, like darkest morning. I had to turn all the lights on in here and it still felt like it was dark and gloomy. And now the sun is peeking out. I love that. Okay, so here we go. Drawing for the Dino Roar enamel shapes. I have to get these all, just there's so many. Okay, I have one in my hand. 
and it is folded up and it is Miss Kim Klein. All right, Miss Kim, there you go. Here, uh, Dino Roar Enamel Shapes, Miss Kim Klein. I will have these down at the studio for you to pick up. Okay, I gotta set that aside and we're gonna dump all these out so we can do our other drawing. Okay, so actually before I do the other drawing, let me tell you my hair. You know how you get like a tickle on your nose? That's happening to me right now. <laughs> okay, um, what's next? Oh, the bird ballad trinkets. This is what we're gonna give away on the next Facebook Live. So they come in that, it's like a little, little plastic container. I know I showed you guys this with my bird ballad class to go, but these are so pretty. And this one actually, so it's, you can see it's like a little, oh, it's like a kind of a metallic galvanized leaf. You're very sweet, Debbie. And then it's got that little circle there too, so you can tie. Um, I would say twine. Ribbon might be tough to get through there. Um, but yeah, you can add a little something. And then these super cute, can you kind of see the little flowers? And then the keys, I love. I feel like, is there one more that might be it? How can I show? Look at it, it's like a little antique key. I move it over there, I don't know. <laughs> is it better against my face or against the um, door back there? Oh yeah, and then there is, I thought there was one more. These cute little, if you can see, can you guys see those? They're like a little um, bow, a little metallic bow. So next time we do Facebook Live, which, okay, so, so it'll be the 20th, September 20th. Thank you for the share, Lisa, I appreciate that. Um, on September 20th, we will do the drawing, right? So comment, share, tag a friend, post pictures, sign up for my email list, and you could win the Bird Ballad Metallic, is that what they're called? Bird Ballad Trinkets, okay? All right, let's move those out of the way too. All right, so now we have our drawing for, this is the Scripty 3D embossing folder. Such a cute folder. I showed you guys some projects, I think last time when I announced this was the giveaway. So your name went in the drawing for um, the Scripty 3D embossing folder. If you put in an order of at least $30 and use the host code, your name went in the drawing. You automatically get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, and one of you lucky ladies is going to win this Scripty 3D embossing folder. Okay, so I'm tossing the names around in here, and let's see, the winner is... Miss Vina Gomez. Oh my gosh, can you get, can you see that there? Yes, well, congratulations, Miss Vina. That is awesome. I will get this sent right out to you. Okay, so you guys, I am so excited to tell you what I'm gonna give away. I had to do, I was like, we gotta do something fun and fabulous from the new holiday catalog. And especially since this is gonna be another stretch. So anytime orders between today, now, and Wednesday, I think I wrote it on here. Would it be the 18th maybe? Yep, Wednesday, September 18th. If you put an online order and use the new host code that's at gatheringinspiration.com, I'm gonna give it to you in just a little bit too. Um, spend at least $30, and who's not gonna be able to spend $30 on new holiday catalog stuff, right? We're all, start thinking about making your holiday catalog or holiday um, cards now, then you won't be stressed out in December when you have lots of other things you wanna do to prep for Christmas. Right, start making them now and then you can have fun making them and addressing them when it gets closer. One year I had all my holiday cards made. This was like before I was really running this as a business, but I had all my holiday cards made and like addressed and stamped and everything and I popped them in the mail the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> And I was so proud of myself. Of course, that's never happened since then. And the funniest thing about that is I had a friend who, you know, like, who lived like right around the corner from me. So it probably took like till the next, maybe probably on Saturday after Thanksgiving, she got my holiday card. And she said she stood out of the mailbox with the card in her hand and was like, you win, you win. <laughs> you got your card out first. Not, you know, so she was kind of probably annoyed with me, to be honest. But I, that was like the one year that I was able to do that. It's never happened since then but it was just funny that like that was her <laughs> take on it too was you win because <laughs> she probably didn't have her cards ready yet I'm thinking okay but so all right so if you put in your online order you could get your name in the drawing to win the twall Christmas stamp set and I know it's backwards but look at the beautiful I think it's a robin right is it a robin I'm pretty sure um, somebody said if you made the beak longer you could probably make it look like a blue jay too I'm not that familiar with birds like close up but that's what they said okay so the sentiments are dreams be 
be merry and bright and Christmas wishes. That's what the two are right there, right? And then the leaves and the robin. Oh, and then this one is cute. This for you with love. Got a couple of little scrolly images and then let me cardinal, cardinal, probably. Yeah, it's not a robin, is it? It's a cardinal. Yeah, he's much more regal. Um, thank you, <laughs> Nikki. Yeah, I know. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to get that right. Okay, and then the last sentiment says, may this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful sentiment. I think I would buy the stamp set just because I love that sen sentiment so much. So, okay, yeah, so your name will go in the drawing. We'll do that on Friday, September 20th, our next drawing. You could be the winner of this awesome twall type, twall Christmas stamp set. I think it's part of the twall tidings um, suite. Okay, all right, I gotta check out my notes one more time. Yeah, Robin, why did I say Robin, Nikki, you're right. I know. And you know when you're like on these things, when you're talking, like you kind of don't even realize half of what you're saying. <laughs> so you could like totally misspeak something and just like blabber right on past it. It's very easy for me to do that sort of thing. Okay, mm, I feel like I've missed something, but I'm gonna hope that I didn't. If I did miss anything, I'll post it in the comments. Um, okay, so the other thing I have to show you guys, um, if you haven't seen, I, I um, shared my latest class to go and of course i didn't well ugh, duh it's part of the harvest hellos bundle that we're using um in uh yeah i know <laughs> you do that all the time to nikki yeah good so i'm not the only one and people are looking at you weird like what did you just say and you have no idea that you've misspoken right okay so harvest hellos is our product of the week this week right so i hope you guys have enjoyed it's funny because when i did um the product of the week earlier in the week i couldn't use like the stamp set and punch like i normally would because we didn't have pictures from the holiday catalog available on monday we couldn't get them until wednesday when it posted um, you know, became available for everybody. Um, but so I was trying to like post as many other projects as I could using the Harvest Hellos stamp set, which is right here, the super cute, the Harvest Hellos stamp set. So I love, this is my most favorite part about it too, is that there's an apple and a pumpkin, and then the punch punches both of those out. So it's like a dual purpose. They called it the apple builder punch, but it punches pumpkins and apples, right? It also punches that little leaf, Ooh, that lighting is weird. And then the little stem right there too. So, okay, so my class to go features that Harvest Hello stamp set. You get the Apple Builder Punch that I have right here too, right? Okay, so you guys can see those things work really well together. It's funny how much it looks like an apple, but when you um, make it a pumpkin, it looks like a pumpkin, so it works. Um, what else? It also includes a package of the tags and feathers elements. I'll show you those on the projects too. You also get, oh, and I didn't bring it all over. Well, this is, because I've used so much. This is part of the Come Together ribbon pack. This is some of the, what is this called? Cajun Craze Thread. And then there's another ribbon, a linen ribbon with some satin edging on it, beautiful. You get a full pack of that combo pack of ribbon and um, thread. And then you also, did I not bring that over? I pulled, oh I did, right here, okay. You get a, um, a quarter of a pack of the Come Together, yes, Come Together Designer Series paper. And these are my favorite. Um, I love that blue, that pretty peacock is just gorgeous. Um, so there is one side of four of them, right? So those, beautiful, isn't that just awesome? And then here, let's see, I'm gonna just show you. So there is just kind of a simple uh, mint macaron, I would say. This is beautiful too, right? Ooh, isn't that awesome? I love these pumpkins too, so cute, right? And then this plaid, I've had tons of fun playing with that too. There are a couple more patterns um, that I probably used on the cards, so I'll show you those all at once, but you get a quarter of a pack of the paper. So there are the four different, five different options, right? Where you can get the bundle, you can get just the stamp set, or you can get just the embellishments. All the details are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and on my YouTube channel. So I won't go through all the details, but I wanna show you the cards, because these are, 
I loved, let's see, which ones do I want to show you first? Well, this is my favorite one, honestly. Okay, so that's one of the cards. You could get two of each of these also. This is a fun one. If you can see there, that lighting is crazy. And then it flips open, super duper cute, huh? And then a beautiful, and if you don't need these sentiments, you know, if you don't ever need to say feel better soon, put something else, stamp something else on there. There are a bunch of great sentiments in that stamp set. And likewise, this one says to an A-plus teacher, if you don't need teacher cards, just put, um, hey there, pumpkin, and make these pumpkins instead of apples. I think I put something, oh yeah, I put the apple seeds. I thought that was cute. So you'd get two of the, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these, plus the PDF tutorial. So I would love to get one of these to-go kits sent out to you. We've got a couple of weeks. Actually, when I come back for the next Facebook Live, it will be the final RSVP deadline of September 20th. So you got a little while. You can get just the PDF if you want to do everything yourself, or you can get any of the other options. So, And like I said, the details are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I emailed about it and um, posted on our Facebook group. Okay? If anybody has any questions on that, let me know about it. All right? Um, okay. Let me just get things cleaned away here. So the other thing I have to show you guys was this cute little, I think that's where we're at, right? Yeah, let's do this. Cute little treat. I've been making so many fun things. So this, I can't remember whether I showed you guys or not yet, so I'm gonna show it again. This is a super cute little treat that I made for everybody in my clubs. Um, class to go is also a club. So if you decide that you wanna get one of these to go kits every single month, um, you can join that class to go club and then I always send you cute little treats in the mail too Plus you get host benefits one month um, the month that you're the host of the class to go club So but I have to show you that right? So what does it say you make everything sparkle that lighting is weird? Isn't it today? Okay, so yeah YouTube video on this one also if you want to know how to make this because it's just so cute I put a couple of little Hershey kisses in there too you could make these for Halloween, for Thanksgiving. You could put them on like, you know, like place settings for um, Thanksgiving dinner, for Christmas, Christmas Eve dinner, all those fun things. Um, just basically, you know, you just like make a little wrapper and put some candy in it, right? Oh, candy is always awesome. Okay, um, one more thing to tell you guys about, because I almost forgot about this, is my holiday catalog bundle series. And I announced this recently also. So there are three different classes including in, included in the series. And if you sign up for all three of the classes, you get to pick a free host set out of the holiday catalog. And honestly, if you want one out of the annual catalog, we can get that one for you too. So basically a free host set if you sign up for all three of the classes. I'm gonna do these classes live in September, October, and November, and I'm also gonna do them to go. So you can, if you're local and you wanna to come to all three, or if you're local and you can only make it to two, you can get the to go, to go kit for the other one. Or if you're long distance and you want all to go kits, we can do that too. Lots of, I love to try to be as flexible as possible to meet everybody's needs, right? So holiday bundle series, the first bundle is featuring the perfect perfectly plaid bundle. The class is on Thursday, September 26th here in Alma, and it includes the perfectly plaid. Oh, I'm going to show you. Actually, that's one of the projects that we're going to make. So I'll, well, here, I can show you, show you it now. I get everything pulled apart and then I'll be freaking out about where everything is, but I can do it. Okay, because this is such a pretty, I probably could show you in the catalog. That might even be better because they do such a good job with the, all the display. Okay, so perfectly plaid stamp set, beautiful imagery. I love all the trees and then the pine tree punch. I will tell you, the sentiments say, oops, as I drop it, hoping that your busy year comes together in Christmas cheer, North Pole delivery, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 and may this special season be wrapped in love and joy. And then, like I said, we've got some pine cones and some trees, beautiful. And then the pine tree punch, okay? So we're gonna make two of each of four cards. So kind of like my other class to go, I was trying to keep that as similar as possible. I, um, I'm still trying to decide on the to-go versions if I'm gonna do different options or if it's just gonna be get the stamp set and the punch, because um, I'm not including embellishments or anything because I'm trying to keep those cards pretty simple. Um, for to get a little bit better price point too for everybody. So 
Um, but I have posted on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com, and on Facebook, um, our group about those bundle classes. The other two I will tell you, let me show you. Um, so this first one on page, it's page 13. So basically this wrapped in plaid or perfectly plaid, if you, if you like what you see on that page and maybe that page there, right? You're gonna love the perfectly plaid bundle class. Then the next class is on Wednesday, October 23rd, or get the to-go kit featuring the Christmas gleaming. I love, I'm gonna use this so much. Hopefully nothing sells out where it goes on back order. I love, you guys can see all that, right? Beautiful. So that one's in October. And then the last one is, let's see, on page 19 of our holiday catalog, 18 and 19, the snowman season bundle is gonna be included in that class. And then this is the let it snow. Can you guys see, so cute. I cannot wait to get this snowman um, stamp set and all the other coordinating stuff. So those are the three bundle series classes. So if you're interested, let me know. If you happen to buy one of those bundles or maybe you already have and you still wanna do the class, we can do a substitution for the product um, in, in the class too. So, cause obviously you don't need to get two stamp sets and punches if you already have those, right? Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I think we are ready. Oh my goodness. Okay, finally, let me move this out of the way. We, oh no, hold on, hold on. Let me tease you. One more quick little tease. This is one of the cards that we are gonna be making in the perfectly plaid bundle series class in September. So if you like this card, I promise the other ones are just as cute. I'm finishing those up. Love that plaid paper and then the fun little punch. And then what does it say? North Pole Delivery. Super duper cute, right? Okay, so hopefully I can get lots of people to sign up for that class or get the kits to go, okay? I would I'll really appreciate that. All right, I think, yes. Okay, now we are like officially ready. I've shown you all the stuff I've been piling and piling and piling um, since I haven't been able to do Facebook Live. But we are ready now to do the drawing for the Super Summer Giveaway. Okay, so if you guys could see, this is like a whole nother, I don't know if you can, can you see all of, I've got like so many, I punched, I'll show you, made these cute little tags and I put my little stamp studio um, stamp on there. Hey Darlene, how are you? We're, you're just in time. I'm going to do the drawing for the super summer giveaway. So I have some fabulous prizes to give away to you guys. So I want to recap though, because this has been going on all summer long. Okay. Get myself organized here. So bunch of entries in the bag here, right? For every event you came to all summer long, June, July, and August, you got one entry into the drawing. For every $50 you spent, and that was at class and online, I just went through last night, all my orders, June, July, and August. If you spent $50, you got two entries in here. Plus you got all the other Facebook Live stuff too, right? Um, if you posted a picture and used the hashtag, the super summer giveaway drawing hashtag on our Facebook group, you got two entries into the, the drawing. If you brought a new guest to any class or event at the stamp studio, you got two entries into the drawing. If you joined a club, which included Paper Pumpkin and In Color Club, you got three entries into the drawing. Good morning, Darlene. You're so cute. I love your little smiley face there. Um, so I said that, joining a club. And then if you bought the starter kit, you got five entries into the drawing. And if you held a private party or class, you got five entries into the drawing. So like I said, there are a ton of entries in here. I'm gonna shake these all around. And let's see, what do I wanna, I'm just gonna go, I want to do first okay I'm gonna kind of line them up in the order I want to do them in okay so first we have this is the beautiful the petal pink striped ribbon um, is that organy striped ribbon I think it's called love that ribbon not stop playing with it it's great even for fall that real pale pink I'll show you I've got a little surprise to show you guys featuring that petal pale pink okay oh my gosh this is pressure who's the name am I gonna draw this is like the most entries of any drawing I've done. Okay, so I have one ticket in my hand and it goes to Miss Roseanne Lafreniere. All right, congratulations, Miss Roseanne. I will have this ribbon, the petal pink organdy ribbon. I will have that down at the studio for you. All right, I gotta keep myself organized here. Okay, next, 
what do we want to do next? Let's do the Floral Essence Stamp Set. Okay, this is one that I had a really hard time giving up. I keep like, oh, well, actually, no, wait. As I say that, I think I do have this one because I think I did a... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I like just recently did um, a project on this with you guys, didn't I? Okay, but beautiful floral essence stamp set. I love that stamp set. Okay, well maybe I wanted two, I don't know, you know. I want all of it, basically. So, you know, like most of us, right? You know, there might be a thing here and there that I don't need all the catalogs, but not many things. Okay, so, shaking the names around and, okay, I got a whole lot in my hand, I'm down to one. And it goes nice, Miss Kim Klein. You are having good luck in the drawings today. Okay, floral essence stamp set goes to Miss Kim Klein. Okay, you got two things down at the stamp studio now to pick up. Okay, next, these are, what are these called? The Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements. So they're a little bit shiny, right? But they've got beautiful big stars, a couple of big stars and then some ornaments and some little stars, and then I think even some kind of leaf type of imagery there. It's all part of that, the blues and greens, that brightly gleaming suite that kind of goes with that card that I showed you earlier. Um, okay, so those are really, really pretty. Some fun copper embellishments there. Okay, shaking them all around. And the winner of those, oops, let's see, I think I have two, hold on. Oh, it's just really thick. No, okay, I do have two. Okay, Miss Rose Castellan. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Miss Rose. You are the winner of the Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements. I don't even know the names of the holiday catalog stuff very well yet, so I have to look closely at that. Okay, now I have to show you guys. I, we looked at this on um, the Inkspired Stampers, our group meeting. So this is the beautiful, the wrapped in plaid designer series paper. So I have to show you guys this because this paper we are using in that first um, holiday bundle series class. So I'm gonna try to fan these out because this paper, oh my goodness, let's see if we can do like this. Okay, so on one side is beautiful with gold accents, kind of plaid, beautiful. So Alma is um, Scotland, USA. We have a Highland Festival here every year. So these look like kilt paper to me. <laughs> and then the fun, so this side does not have the uh, copper foil accents, but there's still really fun imagery. Okay, so that was four, one, two, Let's see, three, four, okay, so here's some more. Look at all of that, oh my gosh. Every plaid is like prettier, cuter, more lovely than the next plaid. And then the back side of these, I will tell you, we figured out Julie, Miss Julie from our Inkspired Stampers asked if this punch will punch out the trees and we lined it up there and it did. And it actually leaves a little bit of white around the edge and it's really, really pretty because it kind of looks like, like snow covered trees or something. Okay, and then the last round of four, so look at all this, 48 sheets, tons and tons, more plaids, look at all that, so very pretty. And then the back side of those, reindeer, they're like leaping, flying reindeer. Okay, so sorry whoever wins this, I had to paw through it all to show you guys, because it's such pretty paper. Okay, so we're going to put that back in here, and we will draw four... What is that called? Wrapped and plaid. I should know that. I've been playing with that a lot lately. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Good morning to you, too. I'm glad you can join us. We are doing drawings right now for the Super Summer Giveaway. It's something that's been going on all summer long. And I'll do it. I'd like to do this, so I'll probably do it again next summer, too. So, okay. Let's see. We have one ticket in my hand. Oh, it's a dark one. Miss Linda Danis. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You are an online order, order, orderer too, which I appreciate. So Miss Linda, congratulations. I will get this mailed out to you, Miss Linda. Okay. And then let's see, last one. Okay. This is the Royal Peacock 
stamp set. Beautiful, right? It works really well with the Royal Peacock, that beautiful foil paper or the designer series paper. And I have to tell you guys the sentiments. We've got so very proud of you, which I love that, right? You did it. You are incredible. Here's to an exciting future full of new adventures and congratulations on such an amazing accomplishment. So this is fabulous. I think I always think graduation. So these, this would be a great stamp set for graduation cards too. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like shake these around really well. And let's see, one more winner. And it is, okay, one ticket. I've got like 15 in my hand. I'm like, okay, gotta get it down to one. Okay. There's one and it's a dark one too, so it's hard to read. Miss Heidi Sue PM, because her name is Parsons Moore. Heidi Sue Parsons Moore is the winner of the Royal Peacock Stamp Set. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you, everyone. All of your support of my Stampin' Up! business all summer long has been truly, truly appreciated. So thank you very much for that. Okay, you guys, I think I've been, I knew I, knew I was gonna go long today. But I think we are finally ready to do our stamping. Yes, okay, let me, uh, one more quick. Yeah, we're good. If I missed anything, I'll, I'll catch you guys up um, on the next Facebook Live. Okay, so turn your heads away. Um, craft or math has happened, Nikki, majorly over here on this table, but I think I can do it. Okay, all right, so turn your heads away for a sec and we are gonna fly through the air. You guys are all very sweet in hopefully. We are okay here. Let's see. All right. Um, there's my button that I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? I have to kind of resituate things a little bit here. Okay. Bear with me one sec. This new camera, it's, well, new phone, new camera. I'm still getting used to how things are there I think that's gonna do it okay so here before I for the month of September the N C 2 Z F 2 A J you guys all know this if you watch for a while but if you're new to Facebook live make sure that you use that host code when you do that and you put an order in of at least $30 by it's actually gonna be Wednesday September 18th at midnight you get the project so I'm gonna demonstrate right now and your name goes in the drawing to win. Where did I put that? I gotta have that handy over here. And now you guys can see it the right way. The Twall Christmas stamp set. Okay, then if you bump your order up to $50, you're also gonna get a free embellishment in your thank you card as well. Okay, so let's see. Let me grab my grid paper. We're gonna scoot this up out of the way a little bit. Thank you guys for hanging tight with me. Um, okay, let's do, I'm trying to decide which card, but we are gonna do this beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a card that features our product of the week, right? Our Harvest Hellos, right? Um, hold on, I'm seeing something I don't like here. Let's see, I'm always re-situating here, right? Oops. Hold on, I know it's wiggly for a sec. There, okay, now I think we're back on track. Okay, <laughs> there, all right. So yes, the Harvest Hello stamp set. So let me show you, I'm actually not gonna do this part of it because I figured, I think most everybody knows how to do the embossing, but I want you guys to see, I know the colors are beautiful, aren't they? Yes, well, and let me, let me say, let me just back up and say that I did not create this card. I found it on Pinterest a gal by the name of Sherry, and it's spelled C-H-E-R-I, and she is at stampinonline.com. So I cannot take credit. She actually did some other distressing um, kind of around the edge of her piece. I modified it a little bit, but I, when I saw this card on Pinterest, I was like, oh yeah, we are making this card. So what I was starting to say was, this stamp right here is obviously that pumpkin stamp. So what we did, was we stamped on, look at this paper. This is that acetate. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that makes me remember to tell you guys that I will include the item codes for everything that we used on this card 
on my blog. That'll post later on this afternoon after I get everything uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you need to know, if you um, go online and um, type in acetate, A-C-E-T-A-T-E, this paper will come up. But if you want to wait and get the item codes from me, I will have those up shortly on my blog. But if you can see, so what I did was I stamped in Versamark ink on this acetate. Now this paper is really kind of slidey, so my inclination with um, stamping this on here was to push pretty hard, but what that did was it like, and it didn't go, it wasn't that ridiculous, but that's why my lines are quite fat on here is because I pressed and it kind of went ee over just a little bit. So that's my one trick to tell you guys, when you stamp this stamp in your Versamark ink, and you put it on here, just press firmly, but not so hard that you like slide off your paper. The other thing I need to tell you guys about, because there's something about this paper, and when you go to punch, and I'll see if I can show you, this piece, it's like it needs the full piece in here. It would not punch this for me. I'm not even gonna do it again, because I thought maybe there's something wrong with my punch, but when I watched her video, she specifically said that. Keep the full piece intact. These little pieces are gonna pop out, because they're gonna punch right there. Save them for something else. So stamp on your full sheet, because then when you go to put this in here, you can punch, and it will punch. I, I can't really explain why. It's something maybe about I don't know, something within the punch itself. It needs all of that paper in there to do the punch properly. So just kind of lesson learned, don't cut a strip like this and try to stamp and punch it. There's one over here you can kind of see that it started to punch, but it was like it gets locked up. It will not go all the way through. So anyway, just those couple of tips. But basically, Versamark, silver um, embossing powder, your heat tool, and then punch that out on a full sheet of acetate. So cool though, isn't that? Look at that, oh my gosh, it's like cracked, cracked glass or something, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot that out of the way. So say by the magic of something or other, right? I have my little pumpkin right there, all ready to go, okay? Stamped and punched, done with that part. Okay, so now I can show you the rest because the other fun thing is I also used this not enough stability yes that's what i yes thank you debbie there's yeah i don't it, it kind of doesn't make sense to me but that's how it's happening so not enough stability that's why you have to punch all of this through a piece of paper okay but the thing is not with cardstock and i'll show you in a sec i didn't have a problem with my regular cardstock it's because that other acetate is so kind of thick i think so, okay, but this is the other stamp set, another beautiful fall stamp set that's in our holiday catalog. So I wanna tell you guys about these other sentiments. We use this one that says season of thanks right here, but other great sentiments, so glad to have you in my life, gather together, wishing you well, may this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. That's very cool, huh? And then, and I'm, I'm sure that there are um, dyes. I have not used them yet. Um, oh, that makes me think of all my swaps I have to show you guys too. We're gonna have to do that next Facebook Live because there were some beautiful swaps that I received with some of this imagery stamped and then dyes that will cut these things out too. So very, very, very pretty, gathered together. So we use, like I said, the season of thanks, and then on the inside, I did that. May the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. Okay, so let's get to making this card. Want to, ladies? All right, let me get my little pieces out here. Let's get that one back there. Okay. I'll give you some dimensions of things, too. Okay, get all these pulled out. Okay, so thick whisper white cardstock is what we're going to start with. Okay. Oops, actually it's gonna go this way, isn't it? So here's my thick whisper white cardstock along my eight, no, my 11 inch side, I cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, I scored it at four and a quarter inches to make nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, then we have, I'm gonna scoot that right up there so I can pay attention to what I'm doing. We have a piece of petal pink cardstock just peeking out behind our white piece. So this one measures, um, let's see, three and three quarters by five inches, okay? And then whisper white piece that measures 
three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? All right, so we can do some stamping. Let's do that on the front of our card here. So I've got my petal pink ink, my season of thanks stamp set. And we're gonna go maybe right about there. And you guys know, like if I didn't like how that looked, I could flip it over, stamp on the other side. You will not see through it, especially once you put it on that piece that also goes on our card stock. Okay, I'm cheating here and just kind of um, opening that up only part way. Okay, so I'm inking that up. I'm gonna close that baby up. And this one you only get one shot at making it hopefully somewhat straight. That's good enough. Not as straight as maybe it could be, but that's okay. All right, now let's see, I want to, so this is where I didn't have a problem. The stability factor is not an issue with my petal pink. I could punch right through that without any problem, okay? So, and the fun part is we are going to kind of mount that. So then it kind of peeks through there. Isn't that so cool? I loved this card, loved it. Okay, and I wish I could take credit, but I will never ever do that. I will never say that something is mine that is not my idea. There are too many good ideas out there and it's fun to share them. Okay, so I just put a little bit of adhesive in the middle because I don't want you to see through it there that um, it's kind of a, well, vellum acetate, you know, there are parts that you can see through. So just do a little bit of adhesive there. Then we are gonna add some dimensionals on the back of our pumpkin, okay? And I think, yeah, we can put him on here. Oh, where is my little curly cue? I forgot that. Um, well, here, I'll show you. I'm not gonna do it this time, but do you see that cute little, I don't know, do I have it somewhere handy? Maybe I do, maybe it's in here, or maybe I have it pulled out. Yeah, I have it pulled out because we're making another card with that cute stamp set tomorrow at our uh, customer appreciation event. That's the thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, so stuff is kind of pulled out in 15 million different directions and ways. So if you're around tomorrow, if you live or near Alma and you wanna come hang out with me at the stamp studio, we're there tomorrow from 12 until four. I will tell you, I've asked for RSVPs, the first time slot 12 to two is really, really full. Two to four, not quite as full. So if you're around and you can come, you probably wanna to come to the later time slot just cause it won't be quite as crowded. Or if you're signed up for the 12 to two and you have some flexibility and you wanna to come to the two to four, that might not be a bad idea either. Now, not everyone should do that though cause then <laughs> no one will be there at noon and everyone will be there at two. So, you know, let me know. Um, okay, so yeah, but my point was that I don't have my little curly cue. That's already actually down at the studio. So normally, and I would stamp that up in a way a little bit because I don't want the ribbon to cover it all up, okay? So just kind of know that, and it's not gonna really affect it. I'll probably stamp it later. I'll move my ribbon out of the way and do that, but we're gonna just put that on there. And then the fun technique was the ribbon, this ribbon that somebody just won in the Super Summer Giveaway drawing. I loved this idea. So we need glue dots to make this cute little loop-de-loop-de -loop ribbon bow thingy. Okay, and I think I used, it was about, I'm gonna say six inches of ribbon, okay? So we're just gonna cut a little strip of six inches of ribbon and we are gonna add a glue dot, kind of right on there, okay? And then all we're gonna do, we're just gonna tack that together, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that down in there, and then that's gonna kind of fold up. So I just wanna get, oh, I should have brought, I guess I can use my little paper snips. I need my paper piercing tool or my pick, take your pick tool. Okay, so I wanna kind of, actually maybe we'll try to put this down in there. Okay, oops, now it's on my finger, isn't it? <laughs> that did not work. Okay, don't poke yourself with your snips because you could die if you poke too hard. <laughs> These things are so strong. Okay, so we're gonna just pop that right down in there. And then that just kind of folds over like that. Isn't that the cutest little thing ever? I just loved her idea of how to make that cute little bow. And if you just kind of start squeezing stuff together, it'll all kind of stick. And if it doesn't, just put another glue dot in there and make it work. So then I'm gonna take one more glue dot and I'm just gonna put it kind of on the tails of everything. And then we're just gonna kind of tuck. Let's see, 
that. And the, the other one, like if I wanted that a little bit shorter, I could just take a little, another glue dot, kind of tuck it down in there a little bit further. But I think that looks pretty cute like that, right? Okay. Now we should probably, let's put this on the card before I put any more on. So we're going to kind of add, I'm going to move those out of the way too. I'm feeling like it could be dangerous today with all these scissors. It could get poked. Okay, so we're just going to pop that piece on there. And then this one. Sorry. Oh gosh, I hope that's not about ready. Nope, we're good. I was thinking, uh-oh, if that is almost gone, that could be a problem. That's the one thing I never think about looking at before I do a Facebook Live. I got a little adhesive. You guys know that if you get some adhesive, just kind of rub your finger on there and it takes it off so that it's not a pain in the butt. Okay, now I have my basic adhesive backed sequins and I want these two. Let's see, I've got, this is kind of a petal pink. So I'm gonna kind of dig underneath there to get my little glue dot from behind, right? I want maybe one there. We're gonna do one right there and then one, oops, and it flipped kind of over on the side of our sentiment, okay? Then we're gonna do some of these that, I don't know, they're almost like a Sahara sand color. I'm not sure. I haven't looked to see what the name of the, what the color name is, but that's what I'm thinking. And maybe one right there. So we're just kind of sprinkling things, these little embellishments around on our card. And then one more step, we're gonna add a couple of pearls. Well, actually more than, we've got one or two more steps. Okay, oops, what's underneath there? My glue dots are in the way. Okay, so hanging on by a thread. <laughs> now I can get it. Okay, we're gonna put one pearl there and we will do one pearl maybe right there. Do I want one more? Let's do one more. And maybe one right there. Okay, now the final piece. Oh, Nikki, you're asking about the ribbon. This ribbon is the it's a petal pink organdy striped ribbon. I can actually give you the item code. It's 149441. Um, and I think, it's funny because we've used it a ton with the Magnolia Suite. Now I'm trying to remember if that's actually, it might be part of that suite. Um, but yeah, so the Magnolia ribbon is actually, um, I think kind of a linen colored ribbon and then that mossy meadow thread. So petal pink organdy striped ribbon is what this is called, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Ooh, and that's what I was saying about even that pale pink. I think it's still good for fall time too. Okay, so final piece, final little embellishment. These are the leaves trinkets. And of course you're gonna need these because it's fall, right? Fall is upon us. So we've got some copper leaves, if you can see those. You're welcome, Miss Nikki. Okay, so we've got those two leaves in copper, and I'm actually gonna use, um, Sherry put a silver leaf on hers, so I'll show you. We've got the silver right there too, right? So instead of the copper, this time I'm gonna put a silver, actually, that, okay, that's interesting. So this side is kind of shiny, and this side is a little bit more matte, if you can see that in the right light. So I want the shiny side to show on this one. So we are gonna just grab another glue dot, put that right on there, and then we're just gonna kinda put that right on there. And that is it. Isn't it funny? I'm like, oh, it really needs that little curly cue now. <laughs> so yeah, here, that is that. So we've got two different, right? We've got the, the silver leaf or the copper leaf, but aren't those so cute? Season of thanks. Love, love, love that card. And like I said, I'll put all the item codes for everything that we used on that project on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Ink with a K. It's like we're, um, you know, speaking with a little speech issue. Inspiration. Okay, let's scoot these things out of the way. And we will make our next project. Okay. I'm having so much fun with this holiday catalog stuff. I know I said this before, but when, when we got all of the holiday catalog stuff, 
um, on the cruise. I could not, I couldn't get into it. There's just something about when it comes and it's still summertime. But now that it's gotten a little bit cooler, I am ready to go. Thank you, Miss Nikki. Okay, so this next project features that perfectly plaid bundle. This was the one that I said it is part of that first holiday bundle series class on Thursday, September 26th. And let me show you. So simple, simple card. You guys know me. I love to make my simple cards, but I love this is that perfectly plaid designer series paper. And then some of this fun ribbon that's part of the suite. It's a shaded spruce and gold striped. It's kind of a metallic-y gold there. And then I added a couple of little gold metallic pearls too. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started making this baby. And this one, we are going to need our big shot for a couple of things. So, Maybe I will do some of that big shot work before I get everything pulled out. Because otherwise, I get everything on here and then I have to move it all the way to make room for the big shot. I think we can get our stamps out here though. Okay. We'll do some of this. Let's get that one there. Okay, so let me tell you measurements. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna give you dimensions and then we will do our die cutting and embossing, okay? So we have a piece of shaded spruce cardstock, which this is a green that I have not used too, too much of yet. So it was really fun to be able to use this beautiful deep green. Hey Kelly, how are you doing? Um, okay, so eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Along This time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at 11 inches to make our crisp fold on our card, okay? We also have, I have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. One goes on the front and then one goes on the inside of the card. And these both measure four by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have, these are actually two pieces of scrap paper, white paper for our um, die and then for our uh, Christmas tree. And then this is a piece of that wrapped in plaid designer series paper with those cute stockings on the other side. So if you're not a plaid girl, they've got some really nice, fun imagery on the other side too. Although I don't know how you couldn't be a plaid girl. <laughs> I love all of it. So two by four inches is my designer series paper. Okay. All right. So let me show you on this card, what we're going to use the big shot for is we're going to emboss this piece with our subtle embossing folder, and then we're gonna die cut that uh, stitched nested die as well. Okay, so let's do our die first since I'm set up on my die cutting machine with my magnetic plate. We've got that guy there. So my stitched, what are these called? Stitched nested labels dies. So we are using, it's the second largest. I've already pulled it off of here. That's the biggest we're gonna use the next size okay second largest die out of there we're gonna pop this right on here okay and I'm gonna run that through there now where's my other I need my other platform let's get right to that so we need the regular die cutting platform and then this is one of the thick dynamic embossing folders. So we only need one clear piece on top. We are gonna put this, and I'm gonna line this up. So I love that they put these lines on here too, because that helps me keep things straight, okay? I'm gonna put that right on there. And man, I have some warped clear plates these days. And we are gonna go back and forth, just to make sure we get lots of embossing on there. Okay. I'm going to just scoot the big shot right out of the way. We are all done with that. Okay. So these things always pop out so nicely, right? Pop that. Okay. So there's our stitched nested label die with that stitching, right? This has been a super popular die set. If you don't have it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, it's kind of a must have really light layering lots and lots of things and then the subtle so can you see it's just kind of adds like a little oh it's really hard to see isn't it so like a nubby kind of a texture and it makes the paper really soft too <laughs> it's kind of fun okay 
So let's see, now we are gonna do some stamping. I am gonna use my paper piercing mat here to do my stamping, because I wanna get a good image. We're gonna use our shaded spruce ink, and then I've got this super cute, you can kind of see the plaid. You'll be able to see it even better. I'm gonna press straight down, lift straight up. I am not wiggling or rocking, but I am making sure all the ink comes off. Look at that, it's so cute. I love that, something about that, fun, fun, fun. Okay, and then of course our pine tree punch fits perfectly right inside. And I love that it kind of gives like a, a little shadow, a little white shadow around it. Okay. Pop that, oops, there, you guys wanna see it? So cute, so, so cute. All right, let's see, do we need, I think we are ready to put things together now, ladies. Um, actually, we do have a little bit more stamping though, so let's do that, okay. So I have my, where's my ink, my Merry Christmas. We are gonna stamp on the bottom of this label piece. So tap, 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 we're gonna, Go right there, okay, oh, I love that. Isn't that beautiful, the font? Beautiful, cursive font, love that. Then the other thing we are gonna stamp, I didn't show you guys this, but here on the inside, may this special season be wrapped in love and joy with a couple of cute little pine cones. So let's do that stamping. So then we can put this away, okay. So again, tap, tap, tap. Do not press too heavy, because you're gonna get ink all the way around here and you do not need that. And again, we have two sides, so if this really doesn't go well, I think that's fine though. We could always flip it over. And then I loved these. These looked so real, I think was why I was like, oh my goodness. Look at, it's almost, it's like you can see the texture on there. They're so cute. It's fun little pine cones there. Okay, so now we can start putting things together. Right, 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 right. All right, I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. It's probably dry, but I get a little bit paranoid. I don't wanna smear anything. So we'll put that on in a sec, okay? I do wanna put a bunch of adhesive all around the edges of my paper so that it stays nicely on my card. I don't want it popping up. Whenever you texturize your paper, it tends, you know, it kind of is rumply or bumpy. So you wanna put lots of adhesive around the edges to make sure it stays on there well. Then we are gonna add our designer series paper. Okay. And this should just be centered. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So it looks like it's even. Put that one right there. Okay. Now I want to put some dimensionals behind this and my dimensionals are right here. Okay, good. They're not too far away. So we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals. I'm just gonna do one in the middle just to be safe. Press firmly on all of those. Okay, I'm just gonna peel these babies off. And we're almost there, love. Okay, I am getting excited. It was one of my kids who was like, you're making Christmas cards already? And you know, it does seem kind of funny, but before you know it, they'll be like, oh, it's too late. Everybody would have needed to order everything. So like I said, if you are wanting to make Christmas cards, order your stuff earlier rather than later. And then you can have fun playing with it instead of stressing out at the last minute because you gotta get your cards done, which is what I do <laughs> most every year. Okay, so we're putting dimensionals behind those things. Let's add this little bow. So fun, look at that. Oh, beautiful, right? shaded spruce and gold striped ribbon make a little loop it's funny how i just make this bow and at class people are always like how do you make a bow okay so i make my little loop i'm going to flip this over and i'm kind of got my thumb in there to hold because i want to have that loop that then when i put that back through i can pop that through where i had my thumb the other trick i never cut my ribbon off my bolt I keep it on here so that I can kind of futz with it. If I need more, I can pull. If I have too much, I can just trim it off. But it's so hard to work with a little piece, a little strip, when you don't have enough. It's That's when you're all thumbs, I think. Okay, so let's find our next glue dot. I'm gonna rip that off. So we're just gonna, easiest way to use our glue dots, just pop that right on, peel that off, 
and pop that right there. Then, of course, I was like, okay, it's missing something. So we had to use more of these little uh, gold metallic pearls. So I'm gonna need lots of these. I think I need to start using my silver ones more. <laughs> I have a lot more silver ones left than I do of these gold ones. So we're gonna add maybe one right there. And, and as long as you get the glue dot and don't fling your hand around too much, you're in business. Maybe put one right there. Okay, now we just need to add this piece to the inside. And we have another, a first in a line of many beautiful holiday cards and ideas. So I would love for you to use this card idea, make it your own, make your holiday cards. You could actually make a ton of holiday cards. If you got this, basically if you got this bundle, if you got the stamp set and the punch, maybe you do the class, right? My uh, perfectly plaid bundle class, you'd get the stamp set and the punch and some card ideas. You could make more of those. And then this one, you could actually, if you bought a pack of this wrapped in plaid designer series paper, that was a two by four inch piece. So you can get, I'm going to try to do the math here. You can get four sheet or four of these strips right because you get two four six and then one other on the side yep you're going to get four strips out of each piece of designer series paper and so whatever the math is four times are 48 sheets so that's almost 50 so you could make almost 200 christmas cards if you cut up all of this paper in two by four strips Oh my gosh, you would have so much fun and you could add whatever color tree looks best. They don't, they don't all have to be green, right? Oh, so that would be a fun idea. So look, I got your holiday card making your design all ready to go for you. Super cute, simple, easy. We got the inside that has a nice sentiment. Write a little hello to someone and send the card on its way. And you are all set. Okay, so... Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know I definitely ran over. I knew I was going to, uh, but I appreciate you hanging with me and hopefully you enjoyed these projects. And don't forget, especially if you're new to me on Facebook Live, if you put your order in, make sure you use the host code. It's always on my blog. If you lose it, if you don't keep track of it right here, you're going to get one of each of these cards that I demonstrate if you use the host code when you order online. Plus, your name goes in the drawing to win the Twal Christmas stamp set, which is beautiful. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get a free embellishment too. So look at all the goodies you can get in your thank you package. Okay, so shoo, I'm gonna go take a nap now. I have exhausted myself. No, actually I'm not because I gotta finish getting ready for the customer appreciation event tomorrow. So come see me. I am pretty sure, <laughs> this is my plan. So um, I do a buy one, get one free sale at the customer appreciation event. And what my hope is to do is everything that's left from my buy one, get one free sale tomorrow, I'm gonna take pictures of all of the stamp sets and the punches and the dies. And I'm gonna post pictures of those online and I'm gonna do an online buy one, get one free sale. I know I was saying I was gonna do it in August and I just ran out of time and energy basically to get that done. But now while I have everything out of all of its boxes um, for my event tomorrow, I'm gonna to take pictures of everything and we'll get it uploaded. Um, in the next week or two, I'll have everything up on the Facebook group and we'll do an online buy one, get one free sale. And you guys can get um, free retired product when you order out of either the new holiday or the occasions catalog. So I'll have more details on that coming soon. But thank you guys so much for hanging with me today. I appreciate it. I loved being back. I missed doing Doing this. It's funny how I do. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbering on, but I will see you guys not next Friday the 13th. Everybody be safe on Friday the 13th, but we'll see you next Friday after that on September 20th. All right, have a good weekend, ladies. Um, hopefully fall is treating you well in your neck of the woods, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.